Hi everyone, it's Dan here from rubbermanstudios.com. This is part one of a series looking at the Door Reaper and in particular making your own customizable toolbars. Now video number one, this one here you're watching, we're going to look at why you should use them and uh, why you should make screen sets as well to be able to flick through different toolbars that you make. Uh, video number two will show you how to make the screen sets and video number three will go through my personal uh, toolbars and I'll show you some of the buttons and some of the things I've got set up which you might find handy. So let's get straight into it. Uh, why do you need customizable toolbars? Well, this is the default window that I get when I start a session. Now, uh, I've got it set up and I, I can't tell you that this thing saves me hours per session. So um, I'm adding to it and modifying it all the time, but currently it is saving me a hell of a lot of time and you should be able to do this too. It's really, really simple and it takes not very long. So this is the default setup I have. I open up a session, I get my main toolbar as normal, I get my docker that appears down the bottom. But if I hit F2, I've got it set up so that if I hit F2, it completely changes the screen. So I'll hit it now, F2, my docker disappears from the bottom, and you'll notice up the top this new toolbar appears. If you didn't notice, if I hit F1, that's back to my default, F2, here is a new toolbar that appears. Now this is my recording setup. All those buttons and all those actions I've got set up up there are used just when I record. Um, they're things that I use quite frequently, only when doing a recording session, and all of those things save me time. If I hit F3, that toolbar is replaced by another one, which is my editing toolbar. And I, again, use all of those things quite regularly uh, when doing editing. So, again, that's going to save me time. If, I'm, if I know I'm doing a recording session that day, hit F2, things that I access all the time when recording are sitting right there. So how do you make them? Really, really easy. Uh, click on View and open up your toolbar docker or hit the shortcut key F. Now I've already modified a couple and they've been named down the bottom there. Let's take toolbar 3 for example. This is a blank one ready to go and these can be dragged and put anywhere you like. So if I click and drag the tab you can see the blue uh, marker up there. I can put it up the top, I could put it down the side, wherever you might want to go. In fact, let me go back to the default setup so you can see that a bit better. Shortcut key F. Okay, so toolbar three, um, how I've got it set up, I click, drag, place it straight up the top. If I want to edit it, just the same as anything else in Reaper, right click and customize toolbar. And here we get a window. What do we actually want to put into uh, the toolbar itself? Let's get rid of the edit me first. And we click on add type into your filter what you would normally do. So let's do a render. We normally like to render things when we're done. Um, and we'll just double click on Open Render Queue. That's one that we might want to do. Uh, we can assign an icon to it by highlighting it and clicking on Icon, Change Icon. I'm just going to pick anything, whatever that is. And when we hit Save, you'll notice it appears up the top. I'm going to go ahead and add two more things just for the sake of it. Uh, let's do glue items. Uh, glue items ignoring time selection. That'll do. Grab an icon. I'm not even going to bother selecting anything appropriate. Just want to get through this fairly quickly. All right, and we might want to do something like insert. That's something here. Inso, insert, um, insert empty item. That'll do. And again, another icon to that. Okay, now that clearly today the the uh, icons I put there are not relevant. Uh, you'll notice they're all bunched together, and maybe I'm thinking, you know what, the render one needs to be kind of separated. I need to be able to see that a little bit clearer. It's, it's sort of a different function compared to the other two things. Uh, if you right-click, you can put in Insert Separator. And again, you can move that to wherever you like. So I'm going to make sure those are now separate. Hit save, and you'll notice it puts a little gap up in your toolbar. Really, that's it. That is as easy as it gets to make your own toolbar. So go ahead and customize your own toolbar, and maybe multiple of them, and I'll show you in the next video how to make screen sets so you can flick between the two and keep them nice and um, tidy, keep your sessions nice and efficient. Dan here again from Rubberman Studios. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Thanks very much.